Peace to the family. This is Soul Consciousness TV. This is King Narmer. And we are back with another lecture. Today I'm going to give you a little breakdown of my crystal altar. And it is used for many purposes. It is a chakra grid and a chakra healing crystal altar. It is a moon phase grid crystal healing altar. And it is also a prosperity altar as well. And with the purple amethyst and the clear quartz, it is also a healing altar and a sobriety cleansing altar as well. So let's start to the left. As you can see, I have all my chakra stones lined up. As you can see, I have for the base chakra or the root chakra, what you would think is red jasper, which is actually not. It's kind of like a, a form of glass that's like infused together, but it still has metaphysical properties. Behind that, you see a geode. And uh, this geode is basically like an agate. And as far as this agate, it can represent the sacral chakra, which is your orange chakra. Behind that, you have what looks like a bar of soap, which is actually, this bar of soap that you see is actually orange calcite. So that's pretty cool. So that deals with the sacral chakra. So we've already gone over the root chakra and the sacral chakra, which is red and orange. Now we're going to the solar plexus, which is yellow. Solar plexus would be these three right here. What you see right here is natural citrine quartz. And then behind that, we have a form of jadeite. This right here represents the heart chakra, which is green. Then behind that, we have rose quartz. Rose quartz can represent the higher chakras. So now we've gone through most of the chakras. Now we got to get to throat chakra blue lace agate this right here is a geode and then behind this blue lace agate is just agate which represents the third eye chakra and then for the crown chakra I have natural amethyst and I have purple amethyst which is all purple amethyst but this is per but this is purple amethyst in its crystal clutch form so it's like a crystal cluster so as you can see it's a cluster purple amethyst and natural amethyst and this right here more or less is the chakra part or the chakra grid or the chakra healing altar now as you see in front of you I have amber I have an amber crystal ball I have a clear quartz crystal ball and I have a black onyx crystal ball. Black onyx, you would like to bury when you're finished. Clear quartz, it's a master healing crystal and it amplifies any other crystal or, or any other stone. Amber is very well, it's a very good crystal, very expensive crystal. Sometimes it's hard to find in metaphysical stores and will cost you a lot. So now let's go to the middle of the altar. Right here is a selenite wand and a selenite stick. Selenite is like quartz. It will amplify any other crystal. And selenite is one of the only crystals that doesn't need to be cleansed but can cleanse other crystals. But when working with selenite, you do not want to get it wet because it can disintegrate. So then you have to dry it out under the moonlight. And as you see right here, This right here is rose quartz, but it is basically a rose quartz one hitter. Look at it closely. 
and it serves a double purpose because it can also be a quartz point. So we've gone over the rose quartz one hitter, the selenite one, selenite stick. Right here, this is a this is a orange canelian Ricky tree, so to speak. And right be, and right beside it is a purple amethyst tree. And as you can see, I have plates. This is a blue agate. This is another agate. Sometimes they dye them, sometimes they're natural. You can tell the ones that are dying, you can tell the ones that are natural. And as you can see in the middle, this is my moon phase crystal grid. And as you can see, it shows the phases of the moon. I have rose quartz, I have geodes, I have clear quartz, I have moonstone. I have rainbow moonstone. As you can see, I have desert selenite rose, which is another form of selenite, but it is found at the bottom of the ocean. And as you can see, I have all the phases of the moon. This is the new moon. This is the first. This is the waxing crescent into the first quarter, into the waxing gibbous. Waxing means that's getting bigger. Waning means that it's getting smaller. This is your full moon. This is your waning gibbous, your last quarter, and your waning crescent. Usually on a crystal grid box, they would have nine phases of the moon because they would also put the dark moon. But a lot of pagans in witchcraft and in magic do not work with the dark moon. So as you can see, I have selenite towers. They help to amplify the energy. I have peacock ore. I have quartz to amplify the energy. And as you see, I have a nice little crystal skull in the back. So now we've already gone over the healing chakra grid. As you see, my chakra grid and my crystals that are lined up from the base chakra, the sacral chakra, the solar plexus chakra, the heart chakra, the higher heart chakra, the throat chakra, third eye chakra, and the crown chakra. As you can see, my crystal balls. As you can see, my selenite wand, my selenite stick, my moon face crystal box, which can be used for anything you want after you've programmed and charged it up. So mine is for unconditional love, love for others, love that I have for myself, cleansing, and purification, and invoking the moon energy, the divine feminine energy of the moon. I've showed you my little bitty crystal Riki trees, purple amethyst, carnelian. Carnelian can be a firestone. Purple amethyst is a spritey stone can be a healing stone, can be a master stone, especially when amplified with the clear quartz. So now let's go over to my other little bitty chakra grid. But as you can see, this is a chakra grid, but it deals with angelic healing. So being that I have this purple amethyst in the middle, in the center, a purple amethyst angel, this helps me to connect with my spirit guides, the psychic realm, the angelic realm, and higher self. So as you can see, I have all of my stones aligned around it in order of the chakras. Then I have, as you can see, I'm going in a circle. Then I have quartz points to represent the four elements. And then I have the bigger quartz points to represent spirit, which is center and circumference. Right next to that, I have my prosperity altar for my crystals, which is green aventurine. As you can see, I have a nice little bit of candle holder. I have a nice point right there, wooden one knot. And behind it, 
I got some moss agate. Because, you know, green can represent money, fertility, prosperity. So you always want that flow of, of, of currency. And as we go up, I have more geodes. Keep geodes. More geodes lined up. Now let's get to the fun part. In the back, this is my healing altar. And so being that I have a big, some might call this cathedral, but it's not quite yet considered a cathedral because the cathedral is more like enclosed in and has like a shelter space over top of it as you were to go into like a cave. But you can call it a cathedral if you want to. But truthfully, this is more of, this is basically a gigantic cluster. And as you see, I have a purple amethyst tower, a purple amethyst cluster, which you can also, which you can also charge things upon, and place other things, other crystals to cleanse crystals and amplify crystals as well. And basically for healing, then you have natural amethyst, and we have a couple more clusters. But that's basically it for the day, family. This right here is just one of my crystal altars that I wanted to show you today. I know people that because I know people like crystals and that are into crystals, so I just want to properly show you a crystal altar that you would probably enjoy. This is basically my little bit lecture for the day. I just kind of want to give you an overview of my crystal altar. And to show you that a crystal altar does not have to be a specific crystal altar. In other words, it doesn't have to be just a healing altar or just a chakra altar or a chakra healing or crystal grid altar or just a moon phase crystal grid alt altar or just a Reiki healing altar or just a prosperity altar. Or just a healing in 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 purification altar. It can be used for many different things. Let me back out a little bit so that way y'all can see it good. Peace to the family. This is Soul Constant TV. Please like and subscribe to the channel. And check us out on Facebook.